Peace and blessings. Thank you for joining Tribe Bukurim on this daily prayer and Bible reading journey. We will read through the Bible using the one-year Bible reading plan and end in prayer. Today is October 24th, and we will be reading from Jeremiah chapter 44 verses 24 through 30, chapter 45 verses 1 through 5, chapter 46 verses 1 through 28, and chapter 47 verses 1 through 7. 2 Timothy chapter 2 verses 22 through 26 and chapter 3 verses 1 through 17. Psalm chapter 94 verses 1 through 23. And Proverbs chapter 26 verses 6 through 8. Let's begin. Jeremiah chapter 44 verses 24 through 30. Moreover, Jeremiah said to all the people, including all the women, Hear Yahweh's word. All Judah who are in the land of Egypt, Yahweh of armies, the God of Israel, says, You and your wives have both spoken with your mouths, and with your hands have fulfilled it, saying, We will surely perform our vows that we have vowed, to burn incense to the queen of the sky, and to pour out drink offerings to her. Establish then your vows, and perform your vows. Therefore, hear Yahweh's word, all Judah who dwell in the land of Egypt. Behold, I have sworn by my great name, says Yahweh, that my name will no more be named in the mouth of any man of Judah in all the land of Egypt, saying, As the Lord Yahweh lives. Behold, I watch over them for evil and not for good, and all the men of Judah who are in the land of Egypt will be consumed by the sword and by the famine until they are all gone. Those who escape the sword will return out of the land of Egypt into the land of Judah, few in number. All the remnant of Judah who have gone into the land of Egypt to live there will know whose word will stand, mine or theirs. This will be the sign to you, says Yahweh, that I will punish you in this place, that you may know that my words will surely stand against you for evil. Yahweh says, Behold, I will give Pharaoh Hophra, king of Egypt, into the hand of his enemies, and into the hand of those who seek his life, as I gave Zedekiah, king of Judah, into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, who was his enemy, and sought his life. Jeremiah chapter 45 verses 1 through 5 The message that Jeremiah the prophet spoke to Barak, the son of Neriah, when he wrote these words in a book at the mouth of Jeremiah, in the fourth year of Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, saying, Yahweh, the God of Israel, says to you, Barak, You said, Woe is me now, for Yahweh has added sorrow to my pain. I am weary with my groaning, and I find no rest. You shall tell him, Yahweh says, Behold, that which I have built I will break down, and that which I have planted I will pluck up and this in the whole land. Do you seek great things for yourself? Don't seek them, for behold, I will bring evil on all flesh, says Yahweh, but I will let you escape with your life wherever you go. Jeremiah chapter 46 verses 1 through 28 Yahweh's word which came to Jeremiah the prophet concerning the nations of Egypt. Concerning the army of Pharaoh Necho, king of Egypt, which was by the river Euphrates in Carchemish, which Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, struck in the fourth year of Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah. Prepare the buckler and shield, and draw near to battle. Harness the horses, and get up, you horsemen, and stand up with your helmets. Polish the spears, put on the coats of mail. Why have I seen it? They are dismayed and turned backward. Their mighty ones are beaten down, have fled in haste, and don't look back. Terror is on every side, says Yahweh. Don't let the swift flee away, nor the mighty man escape. In the north by the river Euphrates, they have stumbled and fallen. Who is this who rises up like the Nile, whose waters toss themselves like the rivers? Egypt rises up like the Nile and his waters toss themselves like the rivers. He says, I will rise up, I will cover the earth, I will destroy cities and its inhabitants. 
Go up, you horses. Rage, you chariots. Let the mighty men go out. Cush and Put, who handle the shield, and Ludim, who handle and bend the bow. For that day is of the Lord, Yahweh of armies, a day of vengeance, that he may avenge himself of his adversaries. This sword will devour and be satiated and will drink its fill of their blood. For the Lord, Yahweh of armies, has a sacrifice in the north country by the river Euphrates. Go up into Gilead and take balm, virgin daughter of Egypt. You use many medicines in vain. There is no healing for you. The nations have heard of your shame, and the earth is full of your cry. For the mighty man has stumbled against the mighty. They both fall together. The word that Yahweh spoke to Jeremiah the prophet, how that Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, should come and strike the land of Egypt. Declare in Egypt, publish in Migdol, and publish in Memphis and in Tapanes. Say, stand up and prepare, for the sword has devoured around you. Why are your strong ones swept away? They didn't stand, because Yahweh pushed them. He made many to stumble. Yes, they fell on one another. They said, Arise, let's go again to our own people and to the land of our birth, from the oppressing sword. They cried there, Pharaoh, king of Egypt, is but a noise. He has let the appointed time pass by. As I live, says the king, whose name is Yahweh of armies, surely like Tabor among the mountains and like Carmel by the sea, so he will come. You daughter who dwells in Egypt, Furnish yourself to go into captivity, for Memphis will become a desolation and will be burned up without inhabitant. Egypt is a very beautiful heifer, but destruction out of the north has come. It has come. Also, her hired men in the middle of her are like calves of the stall, for they also are turned back. They have fled away together. They didn't stand, for the day of their calamity has come on them the time of their visitation. Its sound will go like the serpent, for they will march with an army and come against her with axes as woodcutters. They will cut down her forest, says Yahweh, though it can't be searched, because they are more than the locusts and are innumerable. The daughter of Egypt will be disappointed. She will be delivered into the hand of the people of the north. Yahweh of armies, the God of Israel, says, Behold, I will punish Ammon of No, and Pharaoh, and Egypt, with her gods, and her kings, even Pharaoh, and those who trust in him. I will deliver them into the hand of those who seek their lives, and into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and into the hand of his servants. Afterwards it will be inhabited, as in the days of old, says Yahweh. But don't you be afraid, Jacob, my servant. Don't be dismayed, Israel, for, behold, I will save you from afar and your offspring from the land of their captivity. Jacob will return and will be quiet and at ease. No one will make him afraid. Don't be afraid, O Jacob, my servant, says Yahweh, for I am with you. For I will make a full end of all the nations where I have driven you, but I will not make a full end of you, but I will correct you in measure and will in no way leave you unpunished. Jeremiah chapter 47 verses 1 through 7 Yahweh's word that came to Jeremiah the prophet concerning the Philistines before Pharaoh struck Gaza. Yahweh says, Behold, waters rise up out of the north and will become an overflowing stream and will overflow the land and all that is therein the city and those who dwell therein. The men will cry, and all the inhabitants of the land will wail at the noise of the stamping of the hoofs of his strong ones, at the rushing of his chariots, at the rumbling of his wheels. The fathers don't look back to their children for feebleness of hands because of the day that comes to destroy all the Philistines, to cut off from Tyre and Sidon every helper who remains. For Yahweh will destroy the Philistines the remnant of the Isle of Kaftor. Baldness has come on Gaza. Ashkelon is brought to nothing, the remnant of their valley. How long will you cut yourself? You sword of Yahweh, 
How long will it be before you are quiet? Put yourself back into your scabbard. Rest and be still. How can you be quiet, since Yahweh has given you a command? Against Ashkelon and against the seashore. There has he appointed it. 2 Timothy chapter 2 verses 22 through 26 Flee from youthful lusts, but pursue righteousness, faith, love, and peace with those who call on the Lord out of a pure heart. But refuse foolish and ignorant questionings, knowing that they generate strife. The Lord's servant must not quarrel, but be gentle toward all, able to teach, patient, in gentleness correcting those who oppose him. Perhaps God may give them repentance, leading to a full knowledge of the truth, and they may recover themselves out of the devil's snare, having been taken captive by him to his will. 2 Timothy chapter 3 verses 1 through 17 But know this, that in the last days grievous times will come, for men will be lovers of self, lovers of money, boastful, arrogant, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, unforgiving, slanderers, without self-control, fierce, not lovers of good, traitors, headstrong, conceited, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, holding a form of godliness but having denied its power. Turn away from these also, for some of these are people who creep into houses and take captive gullible women loaded down with sins, led away by various lusts, always learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Even as Janice and Jambres opposed Moses, so these also opposed the truth, men corrupted in mind, who concerning the faith are rejected, but they will proceed no further, for their folly will be evident to all men, as theirs also came to be. But you followed my teaching, conduct, purpose, faith, patience, love, steadfastness, persecutions and sufferings, those things that happened to me at Antioch, Iconium, and Lystra. I endured those persecutions. The Lord delivered me out of them all. Yes, and all who desire to live godly in Christ Jesus will suffer persecution. But evil men and impostors will grow worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. But you remain in the things which you have learned and have been assured of, knowing from whom you have learned them. From infancy you have known the holy scriptures which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith, which is in Christ Jesus. Every scripture is God-breathed and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for instruction in righteousness, that each person who belongs to God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work, Psalm chapter 94 verses 1 through 23 Yahweh, you God to whom vengeance belongs, you God to whom vengeance belongs, shine out. Rise up, you judge of the earth. Pay back the proud what they deserve. Yahweh, how long will the wicked, how long will the wicked triumph? They pour out arrogant words. All the evildoers boast. They break your people in pieces, Yahweh, and afflict your heritage. They kill the widow and the alien and murder the fatherless. They say, Yah will not see, neither will Jacob's God consider. Consider, you senseless among the people, you fools. When will you be wise? He who implanted the ear, won't he hear? He who formed the eye, won't he see? He who disciplines the nations, won't he punish? He who teaches man, knows. Yahweh knows the thoughts of man, that they are futile. Blessed is the man whom you discipline, Yah, and teach out of your law, that you may give him rest from the days of adversity, until the pit is dug for the wicked. For Yahweh won't reject his people, neither will he forsake his inheritance. For judgment will return to righteousness. All the upright in heart shall follow it. Who will rise up for me against the wicked? Who will stand up for me against the evildoers? Unless Yahweh had been my help, my soul would have soon lived in silence. When I said, 
My foot is slipping. Your loving kindness, Yahweh, held me up. In the multitude of my thoughts within me, your comforts delight my soul. Shall the throne of wickedness have fellowship with you, which brings about mischief by statute? They gather themselves together against the soul of the righteous and condemn the innocent blood. But Yahweh has been my high tower, my God, the rock of my refuge. He has brought on them their own iniquity and will cut them off in their own wickedness. Yahweh, our God, will cut them off. Proverbs chapter 26 verses 6 through 8 One who sends a message by the hand of a fool is cutting off feet and drinking violence. Like the legs of the lame that hang loose, so is a parable in the mouth of fools. As one who binds a stone in his sling, so is he who gives honor to a fool. Almighty God, we thank you for blessing us with another day to love you, serve you, and walk in the purpose you have carved out for our lives. We thank you for being so faithful and kind towards us. We praise you, our rock and strong tower. You are mighty and we give you glory. We recognize you in your power and ask your forgiveness for anything we have said, done, or thought that was unpleasing to you. Create in us clean hearts and renew right spirits within us. Bless us with knowledge wisdom, understanding, maturity, discernment, and focused minds. Take away any thoughts or feelings that are not in alignment with you. Open our eyes to the wonderful things of your law and make it an engrafted word in us. May we live lives according to your will, denounce our sinful nature, lay our sins at your feet and walk in obedience to you for your glory. Abba Father, strengthen your people to pursue righteousness, faith, love, and peace. May we refuse foolish and ignorant questionings and understand that they generate strife with our fellow man. May we not engage in quarreling, but be gentle towards all, able to teach others about the good news of Jesus Christ. We present our bodies as living sacrifices to you and ask that you make us aware of your presence and what you are doing in the earth today. Cover us with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Keep our physical bodies, our nation, homes, modes of transportation, places of employment, bank accounts, credit and investments and communities safe from all hurt, harm and danger. Expose and obliterate anything that dares to come against your people. Bring complete and total healing to our minds, emotions, and bodies. May your perfect will be done in the earth. We pray this prayer over ourselves and everyone connected to us in the matchless name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. May the shalom peace of God follow you for the rest of your days.